Hey guys, so a few of you over on our Instagram asked us to make some YouTube content, mainly due to the video that Mikey and McCall released. So we've decided to try this. I asked on Instagram what you guys wanted to see most of and that came out to be just a daily routine video. So I'm going to try make one of those for you. I've got Foyland here who is very unhappy with me trying to stroke him right now. So as you guys are probably aware from the content that we put out on Instagram, we do have jobs, which means we aren't home the entire time to spend time with these guys like we would love to. Due to that, our routines change on a daily basis. We do have set things that we do at specific times, but other than that, we kind of make it up. On the days that we aren't working, it's kind of what I think majority of you guys do. You know, you wake up and your first thing you do is get veg. As you probably gathered from the video that Mikey and McCall put out, we are very focused on our guys' nutrition. Every morning I'm up chopping about seven to eight different kinds of veg. I'll add in a little bit of avian tea in there now and again. We'll put in some oats, maybe some flax seeds, chia seeds, just a little something in the morning to get them going. Believe it or not, despite us having the five birds, we only make half a cup worth. For breakfast, everybody comes up here. We've got the perches, which you can actually see behind me, sort of. Are sitting with food bowls attached, they were handmade by me. Now on a day off after breakfast, the weather really decides what we do. If it's nice outside and if the winds are below 13 mile per hour, we'll take these guys out for a walk. You know, they enjoy the fresh air, we get fresh air, now and again get some nice pictures, it works out great. If it's bad weather, we're actually all stuck inside, which as you can imagine, five birds that love to be outside in a house causes some issues. Paco, Fuelan and Denali, the three cockatiels, fly around mentally because they've not had the chance to get the energy out outdoors. Corliss likes to make a lot of noises. <laughs> we do try to fill up their time with some training. You know, well, I'm currently in the middle of trying to teach Paco to fetch. It's not going in my favor. If the birds don't want to do tricks, we just sit and cuddle with them. Now and again play with them. Corliss, who's behind me, usually loves to play with her ball. She's got a special ball that Nash runs around the entire perch with and she chases it. And she will hold it and she'll throw it back at you. And it's just a game over and over. And to her, she could play this for hours. The cockatiels, more or less, when they don't want cuddled or they don't want to train, they keep themselves quite busy. They'll now and again come and annoy us. They like to steal things from the table. Or I say they, mainly this guy. Honestly, I know that on Instagram it can seem like we do a lot of the birds during the day. But if the weather is bad, we don't really do that much. I mean, obviously we'll interact with them. At around two o'clock every day, everybody seems to go for a nap. We don't know why. They do it at two o'clock, but two o'clock is nap hour. And let me tell you, it is the nicest hour on the planet because it is the only time we've got peace. Those of you who have seen our Instagram will know that with this guy, you don't get peace. He sings and sings and sings and sings. During the day, these guys do get a few snacks. I don't know if you've noticed on our Instagram that we mainly stick to a feed in the morning and a feed at night. During the day, Corliss mainly gets nuts just for doing simple things. You know that we've recently adopted her, so she's still got a few issues we're working through. We're rewarding a, a lot more than you would just the tame bird. If we land here, although grouchy, I can get him to step up easily. No need to reward, no nothing. He's not biting me. He's buffering, as we call it. Corliss, though, needs a little bit of a push. She'll, she'll step up on you, but she still needs that reward to know that she's done right. But no, these guys do get a nice snack during the day. So after a fly, I actually tend to make them a little something. Recently, it's been rice pudding made specifically for birds. Don't give your birds dairy. They are lactose intolerant. Please do not do that. I make mine from homemade almond milk. They love it. Just a little bit of extra nutrition in there. Every night at roughly six o'clock, we go down and prepare dinner for the birds. Paco absolutely loves this time, which is odd because he isn't as keen on vegetables as you may think. And dinner is a lot of vegetables. It's very similar to breakfast in the sense that it's about six, seven veggies again. Uh, but this time, I, instead of oats or flax seeds or chia seeds or anything like that, I'm putting in sprouts. Sprouts, for those that don't know, are seeds that I have soaked overnight and then I've rinsed a few times a day for a couple of days and they start to sprout. They're really healthy for the bird, a lot healthier than a dried seed just because they've started that growth process. If they're not getting sprouts, because they don't get sprouts every single day, it will actually give them some grain. What I mean by that is I will boil some buckwheat or quinoa or couscous or what are you doing? 
So I'll boil them, I will rinse them out with cold water afterwards just because you know you don't want to be feeding roasting hot food to your bird unless you want bird crop. Now on a days that we are working, don't know how many of you realised from the Instagram stories but we work late. So that means that we aren't going to be home to give the guys their dinner which obviously causes a bit of issues because we like to give them as healthy a diet as possible. Because we work late and we can't give them dinner at 6 o'clock, I decided to make my own seed mix. Our seed mix contains... 40-ish ingredients? I simply made it because I enjoy playing around with the ingredients. Plus the birds love it as well. It gives them extra variety into their diet. Just before we leave for work, these guys will get their seed mix into foraging trays that I installed into the bird room. And Carla's over there. Yeah, hey Bubba! We'll get her seed in a foraging wheel, which we actually saw off of Mikey the Macaw's Instagram. After dinner, we let everybody settle down for a few hours. Yeah, we don't really do much. If they want cuddles, we'll give them cuddles. It's normally the best time for it because everybody's getting really tired at that point. They normally take around two hours to actually finish dinner. At around eight or half eight, I start to look at getting these guys away. Just because they get kind of grouchy after that hour, I don't want to keep them up too late. You know, birds are meant to get about 10 to 12 hours sleep a night. Every single night, we tell them that it's time for for bed. Paco actually lets us know at night times he'll tell us it's time for bed when he's getting sleepy which usually means can I go to my room can I get my lights turned off. Carlos gets to stay up a little bit later just because she needs more focused one-on-one -on -one time. She does wake up a bit later so it works out quite nicely. Nash will take her down at around nine half nine ish usually. She'll get a Brazil nut every single time she goes in her cage at night just as a reward for being a good girl. So that's the basics of our daily routine guys really hope you enjoyed it maybe even learned something from it if you want to see more just let us know on our instagram at pause claws and feathers and i hope you guys have a good day see ya